Hello everyone and welcome to episode 30 of the TCC CTC Link vlog. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season, nice break. Um, you may recall from episode 29 that I said I would talk a little bit about uh, Link's new home. And um, some of you may or may not know that um, throughout the, the various episodes that we've had of this video blog, uh, Dr. Transu has tried uh, many times to, to win that contest and, and host Link in her area. And, and college staff had just been too quick to respond um, that, that she has been unsuccessful in that. And so I thought that with her, with her retirement coming up, that it was only fitting that she get to uh, now host Link um, in, in, on into her retirement. And so here's a picture that we took um, during her retirement celebration uh, with her holding Link up. Um, and then I just really have one thing that I wanted to talk about today, and that is uh, support, CTC Link support. Uh, post go live so once we've implemented CTC link um, and how that support is going to look um, and so I, d I developed this uh, this quick little workflow doc, uh, diagram of, of how support will will run and you'll see here that um, that if a TCC faculty staff or student experiences if they experience a problem with PeopleSoft uh, they'll have a couple of options if the if the issue is related to um, uh, a problem with connecting to PeopleSoft, uh, password issue, username, those kinds of things that those will be handled in-house by our support team here on campus. And so our information systems uh, help desk staff uh, will help out with, with those kinds of issues. Um, and also um, the e-learning the e or information common staff will be helping students out with some of those issues as well. And those things will be what we call tier one. So kind of the low level support issues. Now if there's an issue with the PeopleSoft environment itself or somebody needs to uh, needs a refresher on how to do something or they don't know how to do a particular thing in PeopleSoft then that will be moved to what's called the tier 2 support system and that is actually managed by um, a, a support team that's housed in Olympia. So it's the ERP, CTC Link ERP support team. And so all of those kinds of tickets um, you know would get moved to that group and then they would respond to those those issues uh, as needed. And then if it's something that's a major issue going on with the system, then that group would escalate up to uh, the, the cyber uh, team that, that is managing our, our, our um, implementation. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a, an idea of how that will look. Um, and, and so you can see that there's, there's gonna be kind of two tiers of support and two locations of support. Now we're still working through logistics about uh, ticketing systems. I'm sure you're all familiar with our Parature ticketing system that we have on campus for a lot of technical issues. And we're trying to figure out ways that we can uh, leverage that system and, and get information pushed into the ticketing system that the Olympia team is going to be using. So we're still kind of working through those details. And actually, we have a, uh, what's called a support summit on Wednesday, uh, where a bunch of us are going to go to Olympia and start talking about uh, what that may look like. And so I'll have uh, more information for a future episode. And that's really all I wanted to talk about today. Um, so I'll see you next time.